Grand Rising, y'all. So right now we are actually in my creative art space in my home. It looks a little crazy, but don't mind it. I wanted to do a painting video. Um, I was getting quite a few requests to kind of show people how I do my clouds. Here's one example. I started doing some color clouds. Don't mind that. We messed up a little bit. <laughs> This beautiful piece. So a lot of people were wanting me to show my technique. So here we go. Okay, so as y'all can see, I am gonna start with a wet canvas. I just have my spray bottle. Okay, so these are the colors I'm gonna be using. This is just a Playtho blue, and then I have a blue cotton. We also have this acrylic matte white. All of my colors are very affordable. I do have a little bit of black out because I think I'm gonna make gray and y'all will see what I kind of do with that. So my paint setup is very simple. Um, when I do clouds, I like to use a pretty big brush to do the background. This is just a regular old brush from Target R9957 Royal and Lang Nickel Crafter's Choice. This is the 19 millimeters long brush. All right, simple, real cute. All right, my background is already prepped, ready to go. I do have a little rag that I like to keep while I paint because, you know, you be messing up, whatever the case may be. And then I also have my palette here. It looks real, real funky. And then I also have my paint brushes and water kind of just chilling on the side. So just a real simple, easy setup. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my paint here on the palette. As you guys can see, like I said, we're gonna go in with that um, pretty, pretty blue. And that's just to make some dimension in the sky because the biggest thing with clouds is just creating dimensions. So create a trick with the eyes. That's essentially what you're doing here. And like I said, I am gonna go in a little bit with that gray to kind of mute that blue down a little bit or to kind of add some definition into that blue. So what I'm gonna do, let me show y'all if y'all can see. I'm gonna take a little bit of this white, put it out here, just a smidge of that black to make gray, as y'all see, can y'all see that? As y'all see here, okay? And we're just gonna add a little bit of that to that blue, okay? And that'll just be a nice definition color, all right? And as we go along, I'll show y'all. Okay, our canvas is still wet. I'm gonna take some of that beautiful, beautiful blue. I'm gonna clear my brush off too because I still got some of that gray. Okay, and this is where you really see the importance of having that nice wet canvas because everything is just gonna flow, baby. Everything needs to just flow. When you're painting, you definitely want it to flow and I feel like that's how I messed up my last canvas. I forgot to get it wet, but it's okay. You don't make mistakes. You just kind of roll whatever you roll with, okay? And I'm actually gonna kind of let this dry up a little bit before I go any deeper into painting this. If you wanna do like a very nice ombre piece, this is a very good way to play with your acrylic paint so that you can. Okay, so we want most of that dark blue at the top, as we kind of see here. And I'm not doing any crazy like professional technique. I'm literally just dragging the paint around and letting the water do most of the work. Okay, so I am going in a little bit with that pretty light blue and just kind of adding that here and there. Nothing too crazy. I am gonna take a little bit of that grayish blue and kind of add it in, like I said, to create that dimension that I was talking about in the sky. Nothing too crazy. Just keep on painting. The real biggest thing is to just not be afraid and just get the paint on the camera, okay? Because when I used to paint clouds when I first started, I was always afraid of messing up, but in reality, you really can't mess up, okay? And I'm gonna show you here in a little while what I mean by that. You really can't mess up clouds. Probably should have put something under this. 
is on the road to the riches. Take discipline and devotion through holistic in nature. Rest in peace, killer joker. My next move solidifies the fact I'm truly chosen. No keep us on the button. These raps, my spirit glowing. Okay, so I did just add something under this canvas just to make sure I protect my floors. I have so much paint on my floors, y'all. All right, so just getting that paint on there. Not really caring too much. Just making sure that it has some nice flow. Okay, making sure that the sky has a nice flow to it. And if your paint gets a little bit dry, you can go in and add some more water if you need to. You want to keep it really, really dark here at this top, though. You want to keep it fairly dark. I'm gonna add some more blue here to the bottom. Keep on keeping on. Something that I really like with clouds too, if you think about it, when you look into the sky, there's little parts of white here and there. Okay, let's kind of get a little bit of that white going, okay? Not too crazy, just a little bit. As you can kind of see, it adds just some dimensions. You want to add some dimensions to your paint. I feel like that's where a lot of people get frustrated because, you know, you're trying to make it look too perfect. And clouds, really, I love drawing clouds and painting clouds because it's not perfect. <laughs> painting has taught me many 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 things and one of them things is definitely releasing perfectionism keep on going to how you like it i'm gonna add a little bit more light blue i love this light blue i've worked with this light blue quite a few times already in a few pieces you can even have one little you know how in the clouds they kind of have like those little wispy pieces you can have some wispy pieces and now for the fun part the clouds okay just a little bit of white and i'm just gonna go in here and just tap 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 nothing too crazy don't get don't get too caught up in what these things gonna look like just just putting them things up there nothing too crazy just tap 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 and even if you still have a little bit of that gray color you made go in there with that a little bit just to kind of give some further dimension right you see how that's coming along Real, real subtle, real, real subtle, okay? Not too much, not too much. You don't wanna get too, too crazy heavy with the white because like I said, this is just gonna be a beautiful, flowy, fluffy cloud. Just real simple. Don't 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 overthink your clouds, y'all. Don't overthink. I think I used to overthink way too much and I was scared to do stuff like this, but now that I've been practicing with clouds, now that I've kind of been working a lot more with them, I've just learned to just really go. Just really have at it. You don't want to overthink it. And even you can even go as far as doing this kind of number here. And if you mess up, let me show you guys a little trick. If you feel like you don't like a cloud, you can take some of that blue cotton, put that down, pick it up on our brush about that much, and just go over it like that. Just go over it. Play around with it. Put some blues back in there. All right. 
and it essentially blurs it out so you can redo it okay this is how we're looking very simple Like I said, guys, this is something that I can do for a really long time. Like, I really love drawing clouds. I think clouds are a very good way to paint if you're worried about being too perfect. Because if you go look at clouds outside, y'all, clouds are not perfect. Okay, so if you want more painting videos, definitely let me know down below. And, yeah, have a beautiful day, guys. Stay creative.